So we realize it's been a while since we've done an entry in the homemade spa liner series. So today we're gonna to try out an idea of mine. I've cut some one by threes to shape and we've duct taped them to the plate. So to test this out today, I'm gonna to hold the plate against my chest while Senior fires two rounds of 45 ACP full metal jacket out of 1911. Hopefully with his new bifocal contact lenses, he's actually able to see the sights. Uh, I forgot to put those in today. Okay, so maybe instead we'll use our old testing procedure and set this thing up inside a cardboard box to see how much spall escapes. Let's go give it a shot. So we've got two nice clean hits and nothing seems to have escaped. There's no damage to the box on either of the sides. So we're just going to go ahead and finish off this mag and see how it holds up. So our first two shots of 45 ACP didn't do much to the spall liner. Nothing escaped. So we decided to empty the rest of the mag at it. And as we took more and more shots, our results deteriorated a bit. You can see a couple pieces of spall made it out the side, a couple pieces made it out the top, but the bulk of the damage was to the bottom of the box. We suspect that was because as we shot this more and more, the liner became wedged open and let all the spalling out the bottom. So perhaps with some better implementation, this could be a viable spall liner. If you don't mind your plate being over an inch thick. Thank you for watching.